Hi, today I'm going to teach you to build a website in card. I think this is great to showcase portfolios or uh, something even very visual based that you wanted to have a lot of um, control over how the layout looks. You can use the free site but I sign up for a pro plan. It's uh, very affordable for uh, smaller budgets. It's going to be a full-fledged website, it's not just the one-page kind of site that you're used to with cards, so let's start. First, I found some references from Pinterest. I wanted something different and that was very visual. And so I moved on to Figma and drafted a mock-up. This mock-up included a rough sitemap and the pages that I wanted to add on the website, and I made a few drafts. It did not turn out the exact way that I wanted to, and that's totally fine. So you go to cart and you have to log in. Before this, I was also using cart as a one-page site. I used it to link all my other social medias on the page that I could add into my Instagram bio. But right now, we're going to dismantle all of this and start building the full website. First, we're going to replace the background. Instead of an image, I wanted something that was a bit more flat. So I'm just going to go with a simple coloured background. And I wanted it to look like brown paper, which kind of matched my packaging and overall branding. Gives it a very organic look and feel. I added a bit of noise to make it a bit more realistic. I then went into the page and adjusted the width to make it full screen because I wanted a very large image when someone lands on the website. Deleted the existing image. My favourite thing about card is the containers. So containers are really great for organising all the elements and keeping everything tidy. I use it to create sections and, and it just gives you a much tidier workspace that is easier to keep track of. So I then went in to add an image. I filled the entire screen with this image. I then added the website title which was my brand name. and style it to how it suited the brand. Then I added page links, which were basically buttons to click to the different pages on the website. So you just add a link element and change the names. I will show you how to link them to the different pages as we go along. But right now, I'm just going to adjust them to suit my style. Once I had the links and the title in place, I went in and added a logo at the very top or rather more of an icon that someone 
who comes to my website could click and go back to the home page. I put it on top of the image itself, so it could always be there. And here's the fun part that you wouldn't use if you were building a one-page site. So Cart has this thing called Control Element and this basically allows you to split your design into different things. So I will first set this as the header and once I've set the header, I'm going to add a section break and this section is going to be the home page so I'm just going to put the name as home and as I mentioned before, I want the, the icon to link back to home. So I'm just going to link it to hashtag home. And when you go to the website and you click on the icon, it will bring you to home. And I also remove all the unwanted elements that was left over on the page. Now we go in to create a gallery. As always, I added a container. And I adjusted the color to match the background color of the website. I then added a title for the section. This one is what we sell. And I went in and added another container below it. This time, I'm going to separate it into columns. And I wanted three columns, so I added one more. I then added the image element into each column. To keep similar elements consistent, this is a really useful feature called a style. So I selected the page title and I wanted all other page titles to match the same style and I save it. And later on, if I go back and match the titles on the other pages, I wouldn't have to readjust all the settings and it would just automatically match up with all the similar elements. I then added a link below each image so that someone could click on them and go to the category that they were looking for. And here's where I match up the elements with the style and it just arranges it automatically. And I'm adding in all the other things and naming and labeling the footer. So it's basically the same thing, it just depends on your own design. 